What's up my YT homies? So just to clear up any confusion, when you're watching this video, you're going to hear me say something about finishing it up yesterday. Well, actually, this was supposed to be a continuation of another video that is actually on my makeup channel. However, I did not get to finish the video. So I'm finishing it now. But in the midst of me doing the video, I decided to do the lipstick swatches on this channel. So anyway, the video is about the Juvia's Place new Nubian Earth collection. And in this video, I swatched the lipsticks and the lip glosses however if you would like to see a look with the new palette please go over and check it out on my channel makeup by Alifia. now let's finish the video all right you guys let's go ahead and finish off this video my plan was to finish the video yesterday when i came home from the baccalaureate but we had company our good friend laquita is visiting her mother and she wanted to come by and so she came by we had a couple of glasses of wine and we chilled so let's go ahead and do these swatches so that i can go ahead and close out this video so juvia's places website it says the description i'm gonna do the lip glosses first yesterday i started trying to do the lipsticks first but then i was like the lipsticks are gonna stain my lips let's do the lip glosses and right now my lips are dry 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 as hell drench your lips with a cascade of light diffusing iridescent shine and bouncy texture gloss this hydrating glossy consistency hugs your lips in a veil of sheer color and multi-dimensional shimmer creating the look of an amplified pout a lip glow for everyday glam shine the reflective glass gloss so they have the reflective glass gloss and then they have the lip reflect gloss so the reflective says, Julia's Place Reflective Glass Gloss gives a non-sticky, luscious, high shine finish to the lips, making it appear plumper. Glides on richly glossy and smoothly while providing long wear. So the first one I'm going to show you is called Oasis. And this one is described as a shimmery copper gold. And here is Oasis. And the box. So let's see what Oasis looks like. Let's come in a little bit more. All right, how about that? Oasis. So I am feeling Oasis. Of course, it's a gloss and of course it's nude. So it definitely blends in with my complexion. So no complaints here. So the next reflective gloss is called Mirage. And this is what this one looks like. And it is described as a shimmery peach and gold. The Lip Reflect Glosses are described as Juvia's Place Lip Reflect Gloss is a smooth and creamy lip gloss that provides an ultra shine and glow to the lips. Glides on creamy and smoothly to provide a long lasting luscious lip. So the one that I have worn already is Nubian Nude and this is what Nubian Nude looks like in the tube. And Nubian Nude is described as a soft cool toned nude brown. Yes it is and that's what it is. Now, so I've worn Nubian Nude twice, and I like shimmery lip glosses, but I have to say that I like this better. I like glosses that don't have a shimmer better than glosses that have a shimmer, if that makes sense. And the last one of the lip glosses is called Mero. No, Mero. Mero is described as a soft chocolate nude brown, and here is what it looks like in the tube. I haven't tried this one yet. Ooh. Now, this one... I mean, all of them I would wear by themselves, but this one right here, girl, this one is definitely giving me what I needed to give. I really, I like this one. I really like this one. No lip gloss, no, no lipstick needed, no liner needed, nothing. I don't think a line, I don't think I need a liner with either of those glosses. Once again, Mero. All right, Mero kind of stained my lips a little bit but it's okay so let's move on to the lipsticks and Mero did kind of stain my lips a little bit but it's gonna be okay so the lipsticks are described as Juvia's Place hydrating velvety matte lipstick provides a highly pigmented creamy and smooth long wear a soft matte formula infused with hyaluronic acid 
Nubian Sand is a nude brown and Nubian Sand is the only one I've worn so I can't say if whether or not I have a favorite because <laughs> And then I didn't push this one down enough. But the one thing that I do love about these glosses and lipsticks, and I think I showed it yesterday, but I'm going to show it again. I love this pattern that's on there. I think that was such a neat idea. And nude, like I said, nude sand is described as a nude brown. Now, I know there are some people that would wear this by itself. However, not me. I like it on myself with a lip gloss. I can't say I like it just like this because it blends right into my skin. So, I would need something to enhance this. So, once again, Nubian Sand. Alright, so the next one I'm going to try, and I'm trying to go from lightest to darkest. The next one I'm going to try would be Clay. And Clay is described as a baked terracotta nude. I knew it when I was doing it yesterday when I was doing it when I was filming this yesterday I described it as a light brick red and I, it came to me terracotta terracotta I had not looked at these descriptions yesterday I was just gonna go off the top of my dome uh -huh. all right so this right here fits me as well I like it I don't love it but of course your girl bought it she's gonna wear it so here is clay Alright, so the next color I am going to try is called Now. And Now is described as a nude soft brown. Snow. Now reminds me of one of the colors in this palette, I do believe. Yeah, now kind of reminds me of this color. You guys may not be able to see it, but it kind of reminds me of this color. And I like Now too. I think, well, so far I haven't tried on one that I don't like and say the terracotta one the clay is my least favorite right now but here we go with now all right and then the next one I am going to try is going to be Morocco and Morocco is described as a warm apricot 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 have you want to pronounce it I don't know but it kind of reminds me of clay on me I'm really liking it I'm looking in the viewfinder and I like it I like it these matte lipsticks are also very creamy there are they are not like drying matte so I do like that but here we are with Morocco we're almost done and then the next one that we have I'm going to try is soil and soil is described as rustic and warm orange i definitely like this one definitely would wear it with a liner but i do love orange lippies i think when you put a liner on with an orange lippy it just oh it just does something so here we are with soil And then the last one is Sheba. So for this one, I had to go in and try to neutralize my lips because they were stained. But Sheba is described as a rich, dark chocolate brown. This is something I know my wife would like. She likes really dark lippies. Had I not gotten the whole collection, this is not a lip color I would have chosen, but since I got the whole collection, I have it. This right here would have to be my least favorite. I really am not a fan of dark vampy type of lips on me, but I do like it and I will rock it, but it's, it's definitely not something that would be my first pick to go for. So, Sheba. So the color for today I used is Jumbo Lip and Eye Pencil from The Godly Glow and I chose to put on Soil and Mirage. So this is Soil and Mirage. Soil and Mirage, 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 Tomato, Tomato. This finally wraps up this video. <laughs> And I'm going to get out. I've already done my outro, so I don't have to do that now. So thank you guys so much. And 